Hey everyone, welcome to another Riva Tech Talk. My name is Bill George. On today's Tech Talk, we're going to be doing a top down look at the Riva Insight UI. For those who aren't aware of what that is, Insight is Riva's Outlook and O365 side panel that's designed to surface the most relevant data to users while they book or follow up on meetings and respond to customer emails. Then, with the track function, users are empowered to further enhance CRM data by choosing exactly who and what they're syncing emails and meetings to in CRM so that whether it's themselves or someone else on their team, everyone has the appropriate CRM visibility to ensure timely and accurate customer interactions. Finally, all of this is done in a secure manner that ensures only the right people can see and sync the right information in CRM. Now, before we jump into this quick demo, one thing I want to point out is that today we'll be strictly focusing on the interface overview and that these items will be discussed in more detail in the next Insight video. So with that, let's jump in. All right, so welcome to my Outlook demo. Um, I'm gonna do a quick kind of navigational overview of Insight, starting up at the very top. Uh, we've got we've got a little burger here. It's got our, our settings, uh, the ability to reload the UI, or of course log out. And then beside that, we've got create and track. And this is part of Insight's um, enhance or enriching capability, where we can um, we could create new objects right from Outlook, saving our users time not having to go to CRM to do that. So we could create any one of these objects, or if there's a need to be able to create custom objects right from Outlook, we can do that here. We can configure it to, to uh, do that for you. Beside that, we've got track, and this is of course the ability to relate, in this case an email, uh, to the appropriate contact or multiple contacts if you want. Um, and then we can relate it to an item like an account, an opportunity, a case, um, a custom object, anything like that. So we'll go back here. Then down below that, we've got global search capabilities. And from here, I have the ability to search for any of these things. And one thing that's important to point out is that within any of these objects, I can only search for um, the items in CRM that I have visibility to. So that's important. Uh, for compliance security, I can only search for and uh, locate uh, any object in CRM that I have visibility to based on my role, hierarchy, um, all that fun stuff. And then all these items that you're seeing here, uh, you don't have to have all of them by any means. Uh, you could have, uh, you, you know, based on a role, maybe um, maybe we can only search for contacts, accounts, and opportunities, or um, you know, contacts, accounts, opportunities, and some kind of custom module. Now, past that, Riva Insight is what we call context aware. So, based on the fact that we're looking at an email right now, Insight is surfacing everything from CRM to Outlook um, based on what can get from this email. So it's surfacing the, the, the appropriate contact, uh, the appropriate account, and it's bringing it all to what we call a summary view. The summary view uh, obviously just points out that this is, a, this is an email. If I wanted to, I could utilize view in CRM. This would take me right to that email in CRM. Um, below that, I've got uh, the account. Uh, this is just summary view of the account, but you know, I'll, I'll drill into this one a little bit. And we see a high level of kind of overview of the account here, uh, address. Uh, again, I could view it in CRM. It'll just take me right to it without having to do any searching. If I needed to, uh, if I had permissions to, I could edit uh, details on the account right from Insight. And then of course we get the local time um, and links to uh, web data such as Wiki, Google, Google News, uh, the weather, uh, or far right is the ability to just jump right to um, that, um, that website. And then below that, any uh, phone numbers that could be available. Uh, then I could view any open opportunities. I could view uh, upcoming events, 
uh, upcoming events would be, of course, any calendar events um, that are upcoming or um, up, you know, upcoming tasks. And then below that, recent events. So any calendar events that have occurred. Um, and this is also inclusive to emails that have been synchronized or tracked into CRM. Um, and then um, overdue tasks as well. And then uh, with contacts, I have the ability to look at all of the contacts that um, relate to this account uh, and that I have permission to actually see. So that is the summary view and the, the, the you know, based on the context of this email. But like I said, Reva is context aware. What does the view look like when we view it from a meeting standpoint? So here we are on a, an appointment, Outlook appointment. And once again, Reva is surfacing everything it can that relates to this meeting. So uh, the appropriate contacts, uh, the appropriate accounts, if there's multiple accounts, um, Reva Insight is going to bring all these all those items up and then of course if we need to you know maybe I'm going into a meeting or something like that I want to get up to speed with that account um, I can drill into that account or the appropriate contacts make any edits that I need to um, all from Outlook and that's really the you know that's the that's the most important thing about this it's it's meant to allow your your uh, your users to um, utilize uh, uh, you know CRM functionality right within uh, Outlook and it's meant to save you time, save you frustration and uh, optimize efficiency for for your team. Now it's important to point out that like all things Reva this version of Insight is just the standard version I have in my demo. The fields, objects and web links can all be configured and customized to ensure your team's CRM and integration goals are met and we always encourage you to reach out with your inquiries. So that's our time for this tech talk. Please feel free to check out the other videos in our demo library. Uh, feel free to like them or leave a comment if you have any questions or you'd like to see a demo of something else. And thanks again for checking out this tech talk. And until next time, we'll see you soon.